Welcome to Quest Trade. In this video, we'll show you how to create an options order on Quest Trade Edge Mobile. To get started, open the Edge Mobile app and log in. Then, tap the Quote Search toolbar at the bottom of your screen. Here, you can enter the symbol for any stock, option, or ETF that you're interested in to quickly pull up its quote. Use the tabs above the historical performance chart to toggle between the basic summary of the security and the options available for it. Stocks displayed are for illustrative purposes only. Selecting options will take you to a more detailed page where you'll find a chart for different strike prices for both calls and puts, as well as a drop-down menu where you can filter options by their expiration date. We explain this interface in depth including how to read and customize it in another video, how to read and understand the options chain. If you're looking to learn more before trading options, please watch the video linked below in the description. Edge Mobile makes placing an options trade easy. First, from the options page for a security, use the drop-down menu to select an expiry date in the future. You can choose expiration dates as soon as today or one year or more in the future. When you change the expiry date, expiration dates will update automatically to show what's available in that range. Choose an expiration date you are interested in trading. From here, you can trade an option by clicking on the bid or ask prices located on either side of the middle strike price column. Tapping on a bid or ask price will generate an order ticket that is pre-populated with information about that option. You can also generate an options order ticket by tapping the trade button in the upper right hand corner of the app and navigating from the stock menu to the option menu. Each of the details in an options order ticket, such as the option type, the expiration, and the strike price, can be adjusted using the drop down menus to their right. Making adjustments will automatically update the current bids and asks for that specific option. If you've traded stocks on Edge Mobile before, the steps to finish off your options trade are similar. Underneath the options dropdowns, you can select whether you are buying or selling the option. Then, select what type of order you will be making using the drop-down menu. By default, a limit order will be selected. However, you can also place a market order, stop order, stop limit order, trailing stop order, or a trailing stop limit order. If you choose to place a limit order, you will also have to set a limit price. With your order type in place, it's time to choose how many options contracts you want to buy. This step is very important. Remember, option prices are quoted on a per contract basis, and each individual option contract represents the right to buy or sell 100 shares of the underlying stock. Because of this, the final price you pay will be the order price multiplied by 100. Next, you can adjust the duration of your order. By default, orders will be set to last for the current trading day. If they are not filled by then, they will be cancelled. However, by using the drop-down menu, you can also choose to have an order be good till cancelled, which will last until it is completed or cancelled up to 90 days, or good till date, which lets you choose a specific day the order will be cancelled on if it isn't completed. Now that your order type, quantity, and duration are in place, it's time to decide which exchange your order goes to. This is done with the order route. The default choice will be auto. However, depending on the options contract you're buying, other selections may be available, such as NASDAQ or MNGD. For some routes, you may also be able to select a subroute if one is applicable. As you adjust your options order ticket, your estimated order total, which can be seen at the bottom of the app, will update automatically. After you've filled out your options order ticket, make sure to confirm which account the option will be traded in. If you have multiple accounts, you can do this through the drop-down menu that will appear at the bottom of the app. If you only have one account, it will be displayed here. Please note, options trading must be enabled on the account you choose, otherwise your order will be rejected. Finally, tap on the green Send Buy Order button to initiate your purchase. If you are placing a sell order instead, this button will read Send Sell Order. 
You will then be prompted to review your order one last time, as long as you have confirmations enabled. Remember, options trading involves risks and is not suitable for all investors. As the special risks inherent to this type of trade may expose investors to potentially rapid and substantial losses. When you're ready, just tap send order for it to go through to the market and you're done. We hope you enjoyed this walkthrough on how to create an options order on Edge Mobile. For more information about our Edge Mobile app, please check out the other videos on our YouTube channel.